Okay, last section. We're going to secure the app with network policy and segmentation. The reason we need to do this is that this client that I'm working with is really paranoid and insists that different parts of the application that don't strictly need to talk to each other don't. So in order to implement this, we're going to use Kubernetes network policy description language, and we're going to use WeaveNet's policy implementation to actually enforce it. So the goal is to create a network policy that firewalls unrelated services from each other. Okay, so let's apply some network policy to the shop. We've got some Kubernetes network policy in this folder here, which we haven't yet applied to the cluster. But because it's running WeaveNet 1.7, as soon as we apply this policy to the cluster, it will get enforced. So this policy says a bunch of things like the cart is able to talk to the front end and the orders service. And the cart database is only allowed to talk to the cart service, and so on. So let's check that the policy works when we apply it. So I've picked two services that shouldn't need to talk to each other. The catalog service shouldn't need to be able to talk to the shipping service. So let's start by saying that the catalog service currently can talk to the shipping service. Got the catalog service here in scope. I can pull up a terminal and I can tell net to the shipping service on port 80. I can then speak HTTP and get back a response. So this is not good. It shouldn't be possible for the catalog service to talk to the shipping service. I'm now just going to apply all my policy. And then I should see that telnet to shipping on port 80 is now forbidden. You see those packets are just being dropped. So we've seen that Kubernetes policy in conjunction with WeaveNet to enforce it allows us to secure our application after it's been deployed. Okay, so just to recap what I showed you. We booted the microservices application locally. We checked the app in WeaveScope. We then installed a Kubernetes cluster, deployed the application to it, and also using WeaveScope, we were able to check that it's the same. We were then able to push a change through our entire CI CD pipeline really simply and easily using Weave Flux. We then set up monitoring for our microservices using Weave Prism, and then we set up network security with WeaveNet and Kubernetes. For visualization and management, we used Scope. For CI CD, we used Flux. For monitoring, we used Prism. And for network policy, we used WeaveNet. And now we're cloud native. Thanks for watching.